I made a magic deck that doesn't play magic. But what does that mean, though? What What am I saying? All right, so I made a deck, right? Right. That's represented by this. It's designed to lose at Magic the Gathering. But why would I make such a deck that is purposefully meant to lose games of Magic the Gathering? Well, see, here's Magic the Gathering, right? Sometimes Magic the Gathering is fun, and it's really cool, and, you know, it's awesome. Sometimes it is. Other times, you run into this guy. And the thing about this guy is, he has cards like Liliana the Veil, it's like $16. Snapcaster Mage, that's like a $35 card. Scalding Tarn, that's like a $200 card. It's, just, it's absolutely insane. He only cares about winning, and he'll spend as much money to do it, and he's very try-hard, and it's not fun to play with him casually. He, we call these people Barl. You don't want to be a Barl, and you don't want to be anything like this. Thing is, there's a lot of Barls in Magic the Gathering, but then there's also some really cool people in Magic the Gathering. So that's why we make this bad deck to purposefully lose when playing against a Barl, and then we make these good deck to play normally against the people that we want to play against. But we're working on the bad deck, not the good deck this, this video. Uh, so time playing bad magic will go down, and then time playing good magic will go up. So you'll be at a net profit. So there's two variants to this deck. There's the budget variant, and then there's the my only hobby is Magic the Gathering variant. Uh, this one is a lot better, but the budget will do just fine. All right, so here's the budget version of the deck. We'll start off with that. So the first card is Mere Convert. It's uh, two mana, and then pay two life and add one mana of any color. So we can tap it, pay two life, and then we get a mana of any color. And then we can use that mana to kill ourselves even more. This is absolutely fantastic. We'll put four of these in the deck. Deepwood Ghoul. This card has pay two life and regenerate it. It's an instant win, because regeneration is the net. You can pretty much just, you can do it any time. You can regenerate a creature as many times as you want, as long as you pay for the cost. So you just regenerate it 40 times and you die. So, yeah. This means instant speed. Three mana win the game. Uh, four, four of them in the deck. Wall of Blood. Three mana win the game. It's the same as Deepwood Ghoul. You pay one life, and you just do that, like, X amount of time. You put four of them in the deck. It's a good card. Karen Gr Howler. Four mana win the game, because you can pay one... Uh, probably. Listen, it's pay one life, and it gets plus two, pl minus one. I think you can just put it on the stack any amount of times until he dies. But, uh, yeah. So we got Karen Howler. We'll put four of those in the deck. We have Ad Nauseam. This is a five mana win the game. Listen, I, I swear there's more variety to the deck than this, but just, you, you got it. Uh, three mana. Uh, oh, I didn't say the card. You know what? I'm not going to read the card. You can read it yourself, but pretty much you draw your entire deck and you kill yourself. Okay, three of them in the deck. Vendetta. Uh, this says destroy target non black creature if it can't be regenerated. You lose life equal to that creature's toughness. And you may be saying, but Noah, we want our cre opponent's creatures to attack us. That's a good thing, right? So why are we getting rid of them? What's the point of that? So let's say you've got me right here, and then you've got your opponent, and they have some kind of creature right here. I say, attack me with that, uh, or I'll kill it. So then our opponent is forced to attack with it. Otherwise, we kill it. It's like meeting somebody in an alleyway, pulling out a knife and saying, I'm mugging you, take all my money. Uh, so yeah, Vendetta, that's that's going to be four of them in the deck. Archfiend of the Drust, you get four oil counters when it enters the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, <coughs> at the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter of Archfiend of Drost. And then if it has no oil counters on it, you lose the game. Uh, so that's just similar to a turtle. It's very slow, but it's very deadly. And I think that's pretty much... So yeah, we're going to take Archfiend of Drost and we're going to put four of them in the deck. I think that's pretty cool. Underworld Connections. This card is technically Phyrexian Arena, but slightly worse in most ways. But then why are we playing it? Because this card is $2.55. Don't ignore that number. That's like the lowest listing, and it always costs like $5 for shipping in the lowest listing. Don't listen, it's got $2.55. We got Underworld Connections, only 19 cents. That's an amazing deal. It's a big money save, and it's better for the budget version of deck. So yeah, Underworld Connections, you tap it in Channel Land, you pay one life and draw a card, you pay four of them in the deck. Uh, greed, it has pay one black, pay two life, and draw a card. So you essentially kill yourself to get more stuff because you're very greedy. Wait one second, the card's not right. Oh, hey, look, it's I fixed it, there we go. So yeah, it's going to be pay two life, draw a card. It's, it's four, car four, it's just great. Demonic Pack. This card, normally you play it and you get a bunch of cool stuff and then you have to die, but you can do this, this, this. But instead of doing all that, we'll just start by choosing to lose the game right away. 
So this card is great. It makes us lose the game. We'll put four of them in the deck. Infern Deadlands. This is like a land, but it kills us in order to use it, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, we'll, we'll take four of those in the deck, and we'll just put them in the deck where we can put four of them. Yeah, we're going to put 20 Swamps in the deck. There's two variants to this deck, as I said before. There's the budget variant, and then there's the my only hobby is magic. Let's let's switch over to this version because I think it's a it's a bit better. So here's some repeat cards that just appear in both decks, and I'll just point them out. You got Wall of Blood, and there's just four of them. Deepwood Ghoul, you put four of them, and Underworld Connections, you four of them. I would explain what these cards do again, but I already forgot. Uh, for Exian Arena, you may remember this card from before, so I, you already know what it does. Four of them in the deck, Jace. Okay, so Intervention Pact, Pact of Negation, Pact of the Titan, Slaughter Pact, and Summoner's Pact. These All the Pact cards. See, basically, what these cards do is they say, oh, you get a cool effect. The next time a source of your choice would deal damage to you this turn, prevent that damage, and you gain life equal to life presented that way. And it's zero cost. But then it says, at the beginning of your next upkeep, pay this. If you don't, you lose the game. So then we just insta-cast these cards, and we don't pay the additional cost, so we immediately lose the game for zero mana. This is an amazing value. All these cards are very expensive. Also, Summoner's Pact. Yeah, we just don't pay that. It kind of looks like AI generated, which I just thought I'd point out. I mean, it's not... I think the card was made before AI generated art was a thing, but I just, I just thought I'd point it out. So yeah, we got Intervention Pact. We're going to put four of those in the deck. Pact it four packs of negation so we can counter target spell and lose the game. Pact of the Titan, four packs of the Titan, so we can put four packs of the Titan in the deck. Then we're going to put a Slaughter Pact for four of them in the deck so that there are four Slaughter Pact. Summoner's Pact, four of them in the deck so they're going to go in the deck. I love this number four. It's a good number. I like it. Agadim's Awakening, which has this effect, but we don't really care about it. We care about the land side of it because it has another side. As Agadim's Undercrypt enters the battlefield, you may pay three life. If you don't, it enters tapped. So we're just always going to pay the three life to die. It's four. Four. It's, there's going to be four of them in the deck. There's four, four, four. It's blood Crypt. So it says you pay two life. It's, if you have two of them, you pay four life. <gasps> Blood Crypt, we, we put all four of them in the deck because it's four life that we have to pay if there's two of them. Bloodstained Mire, it's the same thing. If we pay one life. If we have four of them, that's four of them pay four life. Four! You got all the Bushu who endures Godless Shrine and Infant Deadlands. Now, hear me out here. We have these cards. W what if we put four of each of them in deck? That would be 12 more cards in the deck. 12 is divisible by four. 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 I, it's four. It's the best number four. All right. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw here, please subscribe. Only a small percentage of viewers are. Subscribe. Yeah.